In my previous video, I showed you how to record multi-channel audio from your montage into Cubase using this multi-channel recording template that's provided by Yamaha. But if you don't have that, then uh, I thought it would be useful to do a quick follow-up that shows you how to set this up from scratch. So before we go in there, um, let's just take a look at the montage. I've got a patch called Heavenly pa uh, FM Heavenly Pad turned on, um, and as you can see, it's got six separate parts. If I run the audition on that, then we uh, are ready to hear that as soon as we've got everything configured. So back at Cubase, uh, I'm going to go to the More tab and choose an empty project. And here we are in my project and you can see that various stuff's being monitored, but that is in fact coming from my audio interface where I'm recording this video, not from the montage itself. So let's switch over to um, the uh, studio, go to Studio Setup, and under audio system, I'm going to switch my driver to use the montage. I'll confirm that and hit OK. And now you can see that these two stereo, uh, these first two channels are recorded in the montage audio. Um, now it's treating those as mono channels, so let's quickly switch that round. We'll go to audio connections under studio, and for inputs, I'm going to choose the 16 stereo preset, and for outputs, I'm going to use three stereo. That's all done and now we can see that we're monitoring the stereo input from the montage on those first two channels. But we want to record multi-channel audio so I'm going to use shift, utility and quick setup three audio record on DAW on the montage and I'll start that audition again and now we can see the multi-channel multi audio being monitored but we can't hear it and the reason for that is we haven't got any tracks to monitor it with. So let's click plus here and first of all, I'm going to add a folder called uh, Montage Audio. And I'll keep the dialog open, add that, and then I'm going to add an audio track. I'm going to point it at the first stereo pair, USB main left and right. And I'm going to put it out to the stereo output. I'm going to leave the name blank and I'm going to create eight tracks. Just hit add there and in they come. We'll close the dialog, grab hold of all those tracks and drag them into the folder so that now we can uh, switch monitoring and recording on for each of those. However, there's a little bit more work to do because if we look at the configuration of each one of these, they are all monitoring stereo one. So a quick way to change that is to press the E button on the inspector here, which means I can now use the keyboard. So up here we can see we're using audio channel one and it's monitoring stereo one, that's correct. I'm gonna hit down on the keyboard and now I'm looking at audio two, I need to that, change that to stereo two, track three, stereo three, track four, stereo four, etc. cetera. Um, write that down um, to track eight when we get there. Something has gone amiss here, let's do that manually. Uh, we'll do it here instead. Stereo 6 for that one, Stereo 7 for that one, and Stereo 8 for that one. Right, those are all now monitoring on the correct thing. I should be able to click the uh, monitor button on the folder, and now we can hear the incoming audio from the first six tracks. If I want to record those, I'll just record arm them, set the playhead to the right place, and start recording. We'll let that run for a few seconds uh, just to check that we've got what we need. And I'll stop the recording and stop the audition, turn off monitoring so that we can hear it back and play it back. And there we go.